Today, I would like to show you another way of doing this slide. Since this has grown to be my most popular video on the channel, and if you follow my channel, you most likely know this video. Some people do have questions about it, some people who do have troubles to create this portion of the image, and this is really important, so I would like to show you another way of doing this. So this was the initial slide, this was done with creating the object, grouping them together, and then selecting image fill to create the image within those objects. But this of course could be done in a different way. Okay, I have this image and the way that this was done previously, or as you can still do it, by, is by going to insert shapes. I had, I believe, the rounded rectangle. I have a few of those objects like this. I did group them because if I select them now, I select right click format object, fill picture fill, it would feel like that. But if they are grouped and I select picture or texture fill now, it will tile the, the picture inside those objects. But some people may have a different version of PowerPoint, have those options different or something else is not working. So let me show you how this could be as well very easily done. I could use the image. I would place the image and let's say this is the portion which I want to reveal, no PowerPoint. And I would place this here. I would then select a background, any color I like. Let, let's say I will go with the, this brownish one, since we have something brown, and I would just make it a solid, let's, let's use a color of this picture, a solid fill like that. Then what I would do, I would go to insert, shapes, I would insert another shape to the exact size of, of this, this entire slide. You see? And this way, I could reveal portions of this object to reveal portions of this image. So this is a little workaround which you can use. So I select shape outline, no outline. So I do not have a line around here. And now I would maybe need to make it a bit transparent. So I see what I'm doing and I would need to select the same color. This is very important because you want to have the same color what the background is, okay? Let me position it again in the middle of the slide. And you see, now I would like to reveal this bird in such a fashion. No problem. I will go to insert shapes and I will select once again my rounded rectangle corners. Okay, let's make the object like that, maybe smaller. Let's press the shift key, boom, boom, 45 degrees. Maybe here a bit more rounded. Okay, this will look, look nicer. Maybe even a stronger angle here. Okay, this would look very nice. And now I would do it like that. The first one could stay with the color, but now the second, third, the fourth. You see what I'm doing? I will then subtract those objects. So let's say that this is a very equal line, or if you want to change it, you can change it as it was before, like this, boom, 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 and perfect. Now what you have to do, the image stays as it is. This would be very simple. You need to select this very object. Now I can make it without transparency because it has to be solid. And I would select this first. Then I'll press my shift key and select this, 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 this. It's important that you select first this object and then second, third, fourth, fifth. Because I'll go to format. In the drawing tools, you can click format. Go to merge shapes and select subtract. What this will do it will subtract everything and you can see how this is working. So we have a very similar slide which we had previously. It's just done differently. It's not done with the fill options. It's done with the subtract options. Of course, this could be, for example, a color, uh, sorry, like the bird. So it gets more in this similar tone. All right, then what I would do, I would do another fancy item like we had previously. Maybe I would make this image smaller because it's difficult to work. So I would go to format, to crop, and just crop it to the size of this slide. Okay, now it will be easier for me to work. Where do we have the format? Press on crop. Okay, let me pinpoint that again. And the last adjustments would be clicking here because I see a blue line around it. No outline, please and maybe another item here. So we have this brown because we did the same on the previous slide, you see? We did an option like this. So the slide looks a bit better. This would be very simple. I'd go to insert, 
shapes. I would insert a shape like that. I would control C, control V it. With the shift key, I would rotate it. I would place it here. I would select both. And in the color, I'll just use eyedropper and again, the brown color. Of course, you would need to select them once again, format, shape outline, no outline. And this is a very similar slide. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that you are enjoying this tutorial and you will look forward to similar designs like that.